Create an image of a man doing X. Hmm. Create a... Yep, that's me. You're probably wondering how I ended up in this situation. Banned from ChatGPT 4.0 image generation for the sixth time. This isn't a joke. I generated over 3,000 AI portraits in one week while researching this book, and 4.0 kept shutting me down. Why? Because I wanted to answer one question. How do you stop ChatGPT from giving you the same generic face every single time? Turns out most people are prompting all wrong, and they're missing the best part of Full O's model. In this video, I'll show you what I discovered, how I fixed it, and how you can create realistic, unique people without getting banned like I did. Two years ago, I made a book on stable diffusion. It garnered over 17,000 downloads. I was so excited about AI image generation. But then AI art got messy. Noodles, nodes, 48 gigabyte VRAM requirements, Python nightmares. I was out. Then it happened. OpenAI dropped 4.0 image generation. One prompt, one beautiful arrow button, photo real results. And suddenly, I was back in. What started as a few tests turned into full-blown research. I wasn't just generating images. Without even realizing it, I was building the next book. Or at least, trying to. I had started to recognize the patterns. The ChatGPT 4.0 image generation defaulted to the same faces if you just used man or woman in your prompt. But with small modifiers, you could make huge changes. 4.0 image generation understands facial features from face shapes, jawline structure, to eyebrow and ear shape. From Roman noses to micro-bladed eyebrows, the shift is dramatic. If you treat ChatGPT like a computer game character creation menu, you can create unique people that you can reprompt in different scenes and settings with amazing character consistency. And that is when 4.0 started pushing back. In my obsession to unlock its secrets, I pushed too far, and ChatGPT shut me down. Image generation is advertised as being unlimited, but I had tested their patience. Rate limited for 24 hours. But then it happened again and again. By day five, I was basically pacing around like, come on, open AI, just one more image, I swear. I begged and pleaded with ChatGPT, and then it became obvious that this wasn't a ban. This was an intervention. OpenAI was worried about me. That was the wake-up call I needed. I took a breath, touched grass, started sleeping in blocks longer than 90 minutes again. I was finally free. At least I was for a few hours. But then I realized there were still eye shapes, hairstyles, ethnicity, body types, and more to catalog and experiment with. Out of that spiral came something wild, this book, a full prompt reference for creating real people fast. No guesswork, no repeats, just results. 200 plus pages, 500 images, and 11 modifier categories. Prompting people shows you how to break out of default results. Just adding one detail, like a Roman nose or wide set nostrils, completely changes the character. And when you stack features, not just blue eyes, but almond shaped, deep set, hooded with thick lashes, that's when ChatGPT starts generating real characters. That's what this book became. Not just a list of prompts, a reference system. You learn the structure, you remix, you get what you actually want. And finally, I broke the same face loop. Every new face, unique, custom, controlled. So yeah, that was prompting people. The next one's all about camera prompts, lighting, filters, film stock style. Basically, how to make your images actually look incredible. Volume 2, Prompting Visuals. 
should be a very chill project. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.